Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. Today is Friday and I already shipped out all my orders. I'm gonna show you the what sold at the end of this video if you wanna stick around and see what sold. I did already sell some of the video games that you saw in yesterday's haul. Those already sold. I think I sold like five or six of those already all on eBay. So stick around for those. Today we're going over this sports stuff here. I went to another estate sale this morning. There's a lot of good stuff still sitting out in my trunk that I have to process. But I gotta get done with all this stuff first. This stuff is more important to me. So yeah, stick around, watch the haul, watch the stuff that sold and uh, all that good stuff. So let's go. All right, let's get going on this haul of fun stuff over here. We're gonna start with the really fun stuff over here first, the non-sports stuff I picked up. I picked up all this Mortal Kombat Trilogy uh, collectible toys. These are made by Toy Island is the brand name. Uh, they, uh, I don't know if this is a complete set. There's five of them. So I got Sub-Zero. We got Raiden, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, and Liu Kang right there. Uh, they were all $8 a piece. I looked them up. They're going for about 20 to 25 bucks a piece. Uh, maybe a little more. There was a couple that were a little bit rare. I think Liu Kang and Johnny Cage look like they might go for 30. I'm not sure if I'll lot them all together. I saw one person had a listing like that where they had a bunch listed. I just think they'll sell better individually. Uh, you can see they used to have price tags on them. So they're not in the greatest condition, but still not too bad. Still on card. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I picked up five of those. So that was 40 bucks for the five of those. Next here, I also got this. This is a remote control uh, Humvee it looks like got the remote back there you can see it's never been out of the box and we got the bonus Jax figure right here in the front still part of the price tag right there I did pay 25 bucks for this but from what I saw they're going for like 60 to 75 dollars so went ahead and grabbed that a couple other Mortal Kombat toys this one here we got Goro versus Johnny Cage this little special set it was 18 dollars for 18 bucks I went ahead and got it and then we got this one here. We got Raiden, this special little spring thunder or spring action thunder punch. Again, I looked it up there. I think, again, it was in that $25 to $30 range. So, again, I just went ahead and got it for that price. Again, I love cool toys like this. Not everybody has these. This box is fairly beat up, but again, it's still going to sell, and I think it's going to sell relatively quickly. I think we got one other non-sports thing. Everything else is sports here. So I went ahead and picked up this Mario uh, by Amiibo. It was $5. You know, this is probably something that I can get $10 for in my booth. You can still see it's got someone's old Amazon tag on the back. I'll double check it, make sure they aren't selling for too much. But yeah, I'm just guessing I'm going to double my money going into my antique booth. And now we're going to get to the sports stuff. There, This guy was a Boston sports fan. So unfortunately, there's lots of Patriot stuff. I say unfortunately because, you know, they're the Patriots and either love them or hate them. Uh, pick up these two Sports Illustrated magazines. They were a dollar a piece. These are just going to go in my antique booth. I'll get like five bucks a piece for those. I thought this was really cool. This is just one of these things where you can see the, the three-dimensional shape inside the little glass cube. Got the helmet the logo and another logo right there on the stand. So that was only five bucks. You know, I figured this has got to be worth 50 to $20. Th this is one of the better items I had. I don't know if they realized that this was autographed or not, but that's Robert Kraft, the owner of the team. They had this marked $4. Now the hat itself is a good hat. This is a vintage new age hat. Got the new age low profile hat. So yeah, I'm actually going to take this and authenticate it. Uh, you know, I'm guessing it's going to be worth 50 to 60 bucks. Hats are a tough sell autographed and that one doesn't show up real well. But some crazy Patriots fan will pay. You know, even if it's only $40, it'll still be good. Picked up this patch for a dollar. The New England Patriots Fan Club of Arizona. Never seen one like this before. Just thought it was cool for a buck. Picked up this mini hockey Stanley Cup. It was only a dollar. This is going to go on my booth. I've had these before and I got like eight or ten dollars for it. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Next here, I didn't know what this was at the sale. So, for three dollars, I opened it up. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I might have to go. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. And look at this it's a Tom Brady watch. I have no idea what it's worth. But for three dollars, heck yeah, I was gonna buy that. All right, check this out. Have you ever seen any sports teams Rubik cubes? I haven't. So this was there. It was five bucks, and yeah, it's really cool. 
So yeah, I got to look it up. I don't know if there's any out there, any comps to check, but Rubik's Cube of the Patriots, five bucks. This mini helmet was here. At the time, honestly, I didn't even know who signed it. It was $9. It was probably the lowest price autograph item they had. I don't think they figured that out either. After I got home and, and really looked it over, I could tell it was Kevin Euclid's and it does actually have the mounted memories COA on the back. And I don't know if you can see it, but like right here is an MLB hologram as well. So it's well documented that it's legit. So yeah, nine bucks and you know, I'm guessing 30 to possibly $40 for Keith or Kevin Euclid's. Uh, actually, I'm gonna skip the wine. We're gonna go to this right here. Number one fan for the Patriots, $3. It's gonna go in my booth. It'll probably sell for eight. And behind that, this was actually really cool. I don't know what this is from. It's this Wilson New England Patriots sign, and it's got a hole in the top. So it was obviously meant to hang somewhere. It's just blank on the back. So yeah, I don't know if this was a, a promotion for a store or what it was, but for, they sent it, sold it to me for a dollar, and uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get for it. Well, we're going with big oversized Patriot stuff. Yeah, I got this big foam number one finger for, what is it, six bucks? Yeah, six bucks. I don't know what they're selling for. They got to go for at least 20 to 25. I may put it in my booth just because of the size. That thing's big and uh, yeah. They're giving the Patriots the wrong finger here. All right, let's go ahead and get to these bottles of wine that are back here. They had these three different bottles of wine. First up, I think this one's the best one because this is Kurt Schilling Chardonnay and he actually autographed the bottle right here. Uh, these bottles were all two, all 12 bucks. I don't know too much about wine. This is made in 2006. Then we got two other Boston Red Sox ones here. So this one here is Cl Red Sox club series reserve it's a 2012 chardonnay from the sonoma coast and then this one what's this one this one's 2011 cabernet sauvignon from the alexander valley so you can't really find comps on ebay because you can't sell booze out there so i don't know what i'm going to do with these yet i may post them local see if they want it uh yeah i don't know but those were just too cool to pass up for 12 dollars. let me know down in the comments would you have, would you have picked those up now here's another thing that again, I just thought it was really cool. I'm hoping I can make some money on it. This is like a floating helmet. It does turn. And then when you plug it in, some lights come out of the bottom and it lights up the helmet. Now it was 15 bucks, but I just thought it was too cool to pass up. I've never seen one like that. So, so kind of neat. Then I got this Boston Red Sox banner. It has all the different team logos through the years. That was $5. I know this, you can't really see those when I get up close, can you? Um, I've had banners like this for other teams before, and they sell pretty easy for $15 in my booth. All right, now we're getting to the two bigger items of the day. First was the Tom Brady rookie card. This was one item that I saw in their promo pictures, and when the door opened, me and a couple other people were scrambling around trying to find where this card was. Now. I was a little bit shocked at what they had at price. They priced it at $49. So that's right a probably about where this card is worth. It's selling anywhere from the high 40s up to the 70s, just depending on condition. I took it out of the holder and it does have a small little ding on that corner. Unfortunately, it's gonna take it down. My guess if I were to grade it, it would probably grade a PSA 7. PSA 7s go for about 65 to 70 dollars so 49 dollars pay for the grading you're gonna you know that's about what you're gonna get so pretty much i paid fair market value for that card but for tom brady cards i don't mind i picked it up it is what it is now here's one where i have a chance to make some money off of there was one autographed photo of tom brady there there is no coa on it it is signed to lisa which was the the guy's daughter oh you can see me in there hi um, his daughter's name was Lisa. According to the people there, they said this guy used to wait in lines for autograph. That's how I got that Kurt Schilling bottle of wine signed. That's how I got Robert Kraft's autograph. There were a couple other autographs there as well that I knew were good. I checked this out pretty closely versus other Tom Brady certified autographs. It looked pretty good to me. 
generally if somebody's faking autographs, they're not personalizing them to somebody. So I took a $50 risk on this. It's $49. I'm taking it today to my guy to drop off to see if I can get it authenticated. I'll know in about a week or so whether it passed. So I'm really hoping it does. Uh, Cause yeah, $49, if I'm out that for a junk picture, that'll kind of stink, but I'm willing to take a $50 risk. All right, that's everything that I got at that sale. So uh, put down in the comments, what's your favorite item? Did you like the sport stuff, the wine, or did you like the, the stuff from Mortal Kombat? All right, let's uh, slide over, let's go over sales and get this video finished. All right, like I said, it was a really good last 24 hours of sales, mainly because I picked up all those video games. I had some really good sales on those. Uh, had a total of $497 in sales over the last day. So that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna go over these kind of quickly, just kind of throw them in pop-ups here unless I think I wanna say something about that particular item. I have them all up on my screen because like I said, I already shipped them all out. They're already, eh, they're, they're still right there. They haven't gone to the post office yet. Uh, first up is this Super Mario Bros. 3. This is for NES. This went for $11.99 plus shipping. Now most of them, I just charge five bucks shipping. I know it's probably gonna cost $3.50 to $4 to ship most of these little games, uh, but I just charge a flat $5. That way I know I'm covered uh, and gives me a little extra cushion to make an extra dollar on the shipping if I need to. Uh, next up, I sold that Thundercats. That sold really quick. I wish I could have sold this on Amazon because this set on Amazon uh, was, the cheapest one was like 80 or $90. It was way too high. Unfortunately, over on eBay, they were going for about 30 bucks. I paid 15 for it, got 30, and it sold within a day, so I'm still pretty happy with that. Uh, I sold some of these horrible horoscopes cards from 1972. This was in the non-sport card haul I had from an auction a few weeks back. Uh, what did these sell for? These went for $7.99 plus shipping, so it wasn't real expensive, but again, I had a lot of fun going through these non-sports cards and just looking them up and reading them and, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, next is a Super Mario Brothers, what is this called? Mario Advantage 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Just the cartridge only. Now, this was probably one of the items that I made the least amount of money and probably just breaking even. I paid $8 for this. I grabbed all the Mario stuff. I didn't want to look it up. The place was packed. I got $9.99 plus shipping. So yeah, after fees and shipping, I'm probably making a dollar or two, but that's about it. Now here's the biggest sale of the day and the one that was the best. I only paid $5 for this game. They actually had this one marked down uh, from the common games that they had out there. Looked it up and this game sells really good. This is Godzilla for PS4. Now it didn't have the manual, so it was disc and case only. And eBay I had it for $139 and me and the guy kind of went back and forth on price a couple times. We agreed on $125 plus shipping. So yeah, $5 to $125 in less than a day. So that was the best pickup I had from that sale. I did send it out with signature confirmation. Anything that's that expensive, I'm gonna make them sign for, uh, especially with stuff like video games. I sold this Druk cribbage board, if that's how you pronounce the name. Told you, this was gonna sell. I've picked up quite a few of these four lane cribbage boards in the past. This one was gorgeous. It looked brand new inside the box. $39.99 plus 10 bucks for shipping. It's exactly set up what I was gonna get, 50 bucks. Next is a really cool Iron Maiden. Uh, it was Rock in Rio, a little two disc set. Uh, this was at the sale yesterday, picked it up and it was $2 at the sale. Cause I think all, all DVDs were two bucks or three bucks, either way, two or $3. Uh, it sold for $13 plus shipping and it actually went up to Canada. Next is a cool set of speak and spell and a speak and read. I just put the two of these together. Uh, I found them for $2 a piece at the thrift store, brought them home, tested them out. They worked pretty good. They were a little beat up. So they're, you know, they weren't the best quality ones that I've ever had, so that's why I bundled the two together and I got $49.99 plus shipping for the pair. All right, this next one was another really good game that I got yesterday. This was Zelda and it was like the Wind Walker. Uh, this one was for Nintendo GameCube. This one I got $49.99 plus shipping. There's quite the price range on these. Sometimes they went up to like 70 and 80 bucks. Other times they were selling for like in the tw high 20s. So I priced mine in the middle, $49.99 and yeah, it sold with sold in less than a day. Next is another uh, Super Mario ga game, Super Mario Land 2, and this one is for the Game Boy. This one was all right. Again, I paid $8 for it. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Again, these things are gonna sell quick, so I don't have problems making smaller profits on these ones that I know are gonna flip quickly. Uh, next, we got a polo shirt. This is from Dixie State University. It's a Nike polo, really good quality. Picked it up for $4 at a thrift store, and it went for $29.99 with free shipping on this one. 
Two more items that sold. One was a 1977 Rose Bowl ticket. Had this in my store for a while, and it sold for $14.99 with free shipping. I know, I keep looking over here. I have to keep looking at the screen. And the last one is this Baltimore Orioles mascot bobblehead. Again, picked up last week, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. So yeah, fantastic day of shipping, almost $500. I'm hoping this weekend's going to be as good. I'm going to be doing a lot of listing. Uh, all the games that are back here still stacked up. I got all those on Amazon. The ones that are going to be worth it, I'm going to cross list over to eBay. So if it's like $20 or more, I'll probably cross list it. And there's a handful of those, but there's a lot of them that are like $12 to $15 games as well. All right, that's my video for today. I hope you all have a great weekend. I might put out a bonus video this weekend if I'm just sitting around not doing a whole lot. We'll see. Uh, I picked up a lot of stuff here recently. So uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great weekend. Hit thumbs up, hit subscribe. See you next time.